Ready. Ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome to the Join Dota League Gigabyte Challenge number 16. With Scary Faces, D2Net versus Team Moriarty. My name is Morality Claus and I'm joined by Zach Owen. And to be honest, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you very much. Right then. <laughs> that was short and sweet. Yeah. Nothing to say there. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. So, yes. we... Yeah, let's get right to it then. Uh, both teams, Scary Faces, Team Moriarty, what do we know about them? Nothing. That's the thing, we don't. Well, uh, well, we know something about Scary Faces. We do know that they have been playing eh, not particularly well in the last few days, but they have been a solid team, uh, oh. historically. Oh, indeed, yeah. They've always had a really stable roster. Oh, that's true. <laughs> had yeah. the same roster since, like, January. Can't say the same for other teams. Yeah, good point. Now, of course, they've also faced up against some pretty tricky opponents. Their last two matches were against Four Clothes and a Leprechaun and Team Tinker. And the last and the third match was against Team Secret, which they did drag out to Game 3. You have to give them that. Oh, yeah, you have to give them that. They are a very good team, quite respectable as well. Reserve time. So, banning out right now, looking at the band story, we've got P. Allen and Dying Band out. Understandable. I mean, yeah, it's PL, which is just a very strong late game carry, and it's also a good ban against Quista, who loves to just take out the PL for a spin. It does hurt the late game of Scary Faces a bit, as well as this Earthshaker pick, which does not help State 21 in any way, as he does like to play that Earthshaker. Now, they go for the combo PL Earthshaker. Why do you think that is? They, scary Faces do this a lot. Why do you think they do this a lot? Um, PL's really strong right now. And maybe like the changing of his skills, I think in my opinion is a buff because that Phantom Rush is so good. Like Pial always had the problem of closing down the distance between him and his enemies. And look at the Queen of Pain. <laughs> right, short and sweet there as well. I mean, you basically hit the hammer on the nail here. And the thing is, this Queen of Pain as well. Queen of Pain has always been strong throughout the last two patches, uh, four if you count the ABCs. Thing is though, it's why. The question is always why, and why do you think Queen of Pain is strong? Um, she has blink as well. That blink is so strong, and with a five-second cooldown, I think max level. Let me have a look. Six-second cooldown, max level, as well as that sonic wave, the pure damage, and just the nuke as well from um, Queen of Pain. Really good. Mm, thinking of everything I was about to say, she is also a lane dominate. You have to remember that. Yeah, she has will... really high base damage. And the shadow strike. Oh, of course. Anyway, Clockwork pick out from Scary Faces, very good off laner, uh, but the re the question is why? Well, on the Dire side, we know that Clockwork can do that very famous creep block here. Mm. And um, I'll show you later, he'll probably do it later, if he won't then he's denying himself a lot of XP if he doesn't do it. Because th what the clock block does, it basically forces the entire Radiant side to migrate a bit close to the tower, forces the supports to start pulling instead of being able to try and get kills on the clockwork. And it really is a very potent block. Cock block. It definitely is a cock block. Now, what about Rubik? Or this game? Do you think it's a good Rubik game? Oh, definitely. Especially against that clockwork. You, uh, Clockwork uses cogs and then you just lift him up, pull him out of the cogs. Also really good against that Queen of Pain, that extra bit of lockdown. And we can't forget the Null Field. He's really good against uh, Scream of Pain and the Shadow Strike. Good point. Good point. Now, to be honest though, I was not thinking about this being a good Rubik game. The only spell he really... I mean, Rubik is really still any spell, but the really, the only spell I really see him making a big teamfight impact is Scream of Pain and Sonic Wave. Now, of course, Squid of Pain does like to spam those, but uh, Link on Rubik is actually also really nice. All the Clockwork spells on a Rubik... What, what is your opinion on that? Uh... Battery Assault's really good to have, especially with an Earthshaker on your team, you can really close the distance, and Battery Assault does a lot of damage. Cogs is also really good as well, early game, if you can get it. Good mana drain. Flare, really good for scouting Roshan, scouting out the enemy team's movements, and we all know about Hookshot. Oh yeah, the good old Hooker Shot. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's... <laughs> now let's quickly discuss the bans. Now, Scary Faces had a first ban, Leshrac, which is a pretty good ban. I mean, Leshrac has been dominating the meta. He has that short... He has a short window. It's 
Well, not that short, but it is a shorter window than some heroes. It's like 20 to 40 minutes where you want to get make things happen. Um, and they ban out a Winter Wyvern. You think that's because of experiences or just because they don't like uh, Winter Wyvern? Uh, Wyvern's been picked a lot recently in uh, Pro Scene because Wyvern is very good against right click heroes and heroes that want to take it late game. And recently, games have been going that bit later. Like, the early game hasn't really been prioritized. It's more been going late, let's sit back, farm, take it late. And Wyvern's so good against that. Oh, yeah. Well, once again, hitting the number on the head here, and the late game really does punish. Um, I mean, it's it's a very it punishes BKB carries a lot because it forces them to expend their BKB on a three second timer, like expend like three seconds from a ten second BKB, and that will slowly tick down to expending three seconds from a five second BKB, which is huge. Is it even yeah. three seconds? I believe it's a bit more. Yeah, it's a uh, three point five, I think, max level. Yeah. And what's really good again uh, with Wyvern is it's reverse polarity has a longer cooldown and essentially does less damage as well. But I don't think the stun's any bigger. Just Winter Wyvern is a support Magnus, really. It's really good, really strong. There you go. And the radius is bigger as well. Ooh, and well, Husky. I mean, this should not come as a surprise to some people. We've seen him being picked up by Secret a lot. It's been a bit of a pocket strap from them. Bringing it out, like, surprisingly in ESL 1. Remember that Tusk Techies game? I was actually there. That was awesome. But I don't think Scary Faces have a good Techies lineup right now. I don't think so, no. So we're not going to be able to see that Techies. And immediately Team Moriarty pick up a Viper. So, the Tusk art, why is he good? Well, closing the distance with the Earthshaker and Rubik, that's also really good as well. Like, Rubik can usually pick up Tusk and Earthshaker can just fish him, but if he's in a snowball, he's invulnerable. And both Rubik and Earthshaker don't want to take a hit in the face of Tusk, and just the snowball really helps close that down. Now, while we're talking about that, let's talk about timings quickly. Do you think Team Moriarty can pull this late versus Scary Faces? Uh, depending on the carry that Scary Faces pick, I'm liking. Uh, Queen of Pain does drop off eventually, like, but she is one of the mids that do scale better than most. Um, at the moment. Oh, now, now they can't. Scary Faces. And now they can't. There's Gyrocopter, whose timing does can. He, he's actually really good at most points in the game. Oh, definitely. Uh, the weakest point, I think, for Gyrocopter is the mid game. Uh, yeah. 20 to 30 minutes when he's static farming. But definitely the early game with the homing missile, if he chooses to get some levels in that. Rocket Barrage as well. Does a lot of magic damage early game. And then the physical damage output late game is horrific. Ten seconds to go. Now, the only problem I'm seeing with Scary Faces right now is uh, they're a tiny bit greedy at the moment. I feel like they need a few items on most of their heroes to be able to at least get some snowballs going. <laughs> um, only Tusk, really. I mean, Clockwork, you want that Blade Mail. You just, it's its an item you don't need, but you really, really want, especially versus Team Moriarty's current lineup. And the thing is with Tusk is that he needs levels. Yeah. And he needs them quick if he wants to snowball. Once again, no pun intended. Um, thing um, is, like, yeah, it's kind of greedy, don't you think? I think it's very greedy, uh, Scary Faces draft, and hopefully they can pull it off. And Dyer's the big man. red fiery bird of doom and egg. There we go, Phoenix. Yeah, what Phoenix. Do think? Well, that's an obvious off lane right there. <laughs> that's what I think. No, it's not anything. He's going to be probably facing up to the gyrocopter. Yeah, to Most yeah, likely the tusk. Wins. Most likely the tusk, and that's yeah. You you said it. It's gyrocopters usually favored in that matchup, especially versus a Tusk as well. In fact, if, if Phoenix doesn't get his Icarus dive correctly, he's going to have a lot of trouble. I reckon Scary Faces are going to get a Vengeful Spirit. They need that. They can give the damage buff to Gyrocopter. They can give it to Queen of Pain as well. And after the Snowball, they need that follow-up stun as well. I think that Vengeful Spirit would work really well right now. This is Scary Faces. Team Moriarty, they want a late game carry. They're probably looking at 
Ten seconds to go. Well, what is uh, left in the pool? I mean, the Bloodseeker was just banned out. We <laughs> Secret and the Bloodseeker. Do you have to actually ban out a Bloodseeker versus Team Moriarty? Do you think they were gonna pick up a Bloodseeker? No, really, because Tusks and Snowball, Clockwork, well, maybe it's good against Clockwork, but Queen of Pain can just blink away as well. Uh, th that still does damage, though. You, re you have to remember, that still does damage. Oh, it does? Yeah. I thought it was a teleport blink. No, no, it, I believe it does damage, yeah. Oh, alright, then maybe that Bloodseeker would have worked really well. You can look that up if you want to. Um, thing is, though, it's like, I don't think they really wanted to pick up the Bloodseeker on Team Moriarty's side. I think they wanted something else. And the problem is the two main carries of the current meta have already been either picked or banned out. I reckon a Sven would be really good for Team Moriarty. A Sven? They need that. Yeah, Sven would work really well because no doubt Sven's going to be trapped in the cold Five most of the seconds. time. That Cleave as well and Tusk, Gyrocopter, Queen of Pen, they all want to get nice and close to Sven. Sven can just storm time. hammer and hit him in the face. And Do you think want to get that close though? I mean, Gyrocopter can start pinging away from a fog and just call down, make sure Sven is slowed down. Oh, and that's going to be a... I'm going to say that's a roaming Clinks. Just really roaming? Good against Rubik, Shaker, Phoenix, and Viper. Because uh, damage. Viper, not as much because he gets slowed, but if he does... I mean, it could work. It does work, but it's not as good. Support Tusk and Clinks, eh? Support Clinks? I don't know. I mean... I think this is just a pocket strap. Ten seconds to go. It's probably just a pocket strat, but for what? <laughs> Are they actually bringing out their pocket strats in round one of, uh, what is it, like, um... <laughs> best of one. Yeah, best of one. No, you don't bring out pocket strats for this. Uh, no, but I think it's a full YOLO sort of thing from Scary Faces. I don't think so. I think support clinks might work, but the thing is, he doesn't really have any... Maybe it's actually going to be a support... Maybe it's actually going to be a support gyro, which is... Something interesting. That's a good call, actually. I've seen support gyro quite a bit. But then, with a carry clinks, it's a weaker carry than gyrocopter. But if it snowballs, it snowballs hard. Yeah, and actually, Tusk um, snowball into rocket barrage is really strong. Like, that's something that you shouldn't deny. Uh, rocket barrage, like, gyrocopter's always had that problem of closing the distance, and mm. just with that snowball and that little bit of stun there. I reckon they got an easy first blood against the squishy heroes. Oh! The manly mode has come out once again! We have a Wraith King, ladies and gentlemen. Thing is, though, I still think Scary Faces won the late game. That's for sure. The draft in general. That, yeah. I mean, ah, well, uh it's kind of hard. It's a really greedy draft, to be honest. I feel like it's an incredibly greedy draft. The only one who really doesn't need items is like Clockwork and Tusk. And to an extent, Queen of Pain. Oh, yeah. I do agree there. Oh, god damn it. Oh, wait. That's... Uh, unfortunately not. Uh, I'm trying to... Hang on a sec. Yes, I'm... I should probably set this phone <laughs> down to another volume. But anyway, let's get let's get back to the drafting. Uh, the thing is that I feel like Scary Faces really just have a way too greedy lineup right now. I mean, it's either everyone needs XP or farm. I mean, of course, every hero in Dota 2 needs XP and farm, but it feels like Scary Faces just need a bit more. Just need that tiny bit more XP, that tiny bit more farm than everyone else. Um, your in-game mic is beyond. It is on. Don't worry about that. Is it? It is on. Can you hear me through in-game? No, because I muted you on in-game. Oh, I see how it is. One moment, we're lagging. Alright then. Complimentary pause once again. And I need to set down my mic threshold for some reason. It seems to be that I'm screaming half the time on the in-game. Alright. Uh, is that better? Should be better. Should be better. God damn it! Alright. And uh, everyone, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, subscribe to Swiss DC. Uh, also, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook to be updated with news, etc. Well, right now, we're just waiting for these two lovely people to get started. We can check if anyone had bought any items yet, but yeah, that was a pretty obvious no. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's, let's 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 talk about this again. So do you think you really think SFC won this draft? Oh, 
I've got no doubt about it. I think that uh, Klinks is such a strong pick right now, and I feel that if um, if that if Ramez Ram Ramsey, sorry, if Ramsey can uh, play really well on this clockwork, I think that they've won this game, hands down. Yeah, my pro like I said again, SFC is incredibly greedy compared to Moriarty, who have three heroes, well, two point five heroes that are item independent, really. Like they've got they've got the Earthshaker. Hang on, let me just move down to them. Uh, because apparently clicking on the map does not work currently. Uh, they've got the, the my left mouse button is somehow bugged out. <laughs> Hang on a sec. All right, they've got the Earthshaker, right? Yeah. They have the Rubik, which is item independent. All item independent, right? Yeah. They've got the. Phoenix, which is slightly item independent. I mean, he just works better with items, but you can play him without items. Yep. You have a Viper, which is really only reliant on the mech in the early game and the boots. Of course. And you've got the Wraith King, who's probably the only one who really needs items. Agreed. So, they have a lineup which works well with not having to, you know, stay alive. And... Well, the thing is here with Scary Faces, right? Scary Faces can easily starve uh, Moriarty. Like, Clinks will run around the jungle taking Creed Camp. Queen of Pain will take loads of pickoffs, and so will Gyro and Tusk as well. And look, Scary Faces, they're all pickoff orientated, and Mor Moriarty can't do nothing to stop them. They are not very maneuverable at all. They have no blinks between them, apart from Icarus Dive on Phoenix and the Supernova. Apart from that, Rubik and Earthshaker are not going to escape because they have Queen of Plane Blink, they have Snowball, they have Skeleton Walk, they have Hookshot. They're just going to die. Well then, if that is your opinion... Um, yeah, I mean... It. <laughs> Hang on a sec, guys, I've got a bit of a problem with my camera. Yeah, report morality, please. <laughs> um... For some reason, the camera grip decided to bug out for some reason. I'm gonna. No, resetting the whole keys is a stupid idea. <laughs> it's like when I click the left mouse button, it's dragging the camera along. Like, what the heck? Oh, did it switch around my mouse for my mouse? Oh no, that. What the? Well, this is. Weird. I've not seen this problem. What? Okay, um, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sort it out. Right, for some reason, um... Alright, now it works. Okay, good. Anyway. Back to the game. So, yes, of course, Rubik Earthshaker will be blown up by that clockwork, and they will be blown up by the Klinks, but for that, Klinks and Clockwork need to start snowballing. And what if both of these... Both of these are incredibly squishy level 1. What if both of these gates start getting, like, what if Rubik and Earthshaker decide, uh, F this, we're gonna start roaming the map trying to get kills? Mm. I don't think, I think Mor Moriarty needs a very strong start, and Viper needs to crush that mid lane so hard, get Queen of Pain out the game. Rubik and Earthshaker need to focus really hard on the mid, and as you were saying, like, the roaming potential on Scary Faces is really good, and just the pick off. I don't know how they're going to deal with it, and we're going to have to see. I think that ward coverage is essential for Moriarty right now. Oh, and yeah. Sentry wards is also a massive thing as well, because you can't have Clinks just running around, just messing up everybody's day. Good but point. Mor Moriarty and Scary Faces both have pretty good Rosh lineups just to take it as well. you got the Lifesteal on Wraith King. And Clinks with Strafe and Searing Arrows, that's a really quick rush. Uh, they're missing the armor reduction though. Uh, t support Tusk, probably get that uh, medallion. medallion. Into the Solar Crest, most likely. Um, seems to be some, yeah, once again, technical difficulties. But anyway, so you think this is Shadow Bay now? This is an interesting one. Quista is the carry, which means we're going to see a carry Clinks. Which means Gyrocopter is most likely going to be playing support, which is not a role you see often these days. I mean, you saw it often in the, like, I think it was two metas ago where you did see, VP do it. yeah, VP, 
Um, they played at support gyro, which maxes rockets and uh, which matches homing missile on rocket barrage and does not go for flat cannon. Y the transition to carry is pretty quick, right? So they've yeah. technically got two very potent carries on this team, with one playing uh, for some reason. I just see, I can see it working. The problem is the rocket is just such a slow uh, spin-up time. It's like um, it's going to be a really hard. It's going to be really hard if they go for the support gyro. I think we're going to remake. All right then. A load will be initiated, people. All right, carry on. All right then. We will see you on the other side. I'll just put on the pulse stream quickly. Yes, we did. Alright, and on that note, Yabby. I'm back, sorry. Alright, we are still live. <laughs> Just waiting for these guys to remake. So we are probably going to see a support gyro, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, I think so. We need all pick on, please. And it will be um, a pretty interesting matchup. Considering Viper can dominate mid, but the problem is it's going to be versus a Queen of Pain, who has been known to be a lane dominator. Now, it really just depends on who gets the level 6 earlier. I'm going to tip my... I'm going to place my bet on the Queen of Pain. Yeah, I totally agree as well, unless Nefertoxin. And of course, you've got that stupid, stupid corrosive skin. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, really good against Queen of Pain until uh, the Sonic Wave. Now, I don't think Queen of Pain can so kill the Viper, though, like, because Viper is just with the corrosive skin, of course, has that lovely um, magic reduction. So, the Never Toxin will probably be a deciding factor in that matchup. Oh, and uh, especially with the, the last hits, the noise, well, the CS in general, I think that's going to be the massive determiner of the mid lane. Apart from that... Isn't it always, though? It, it is always, yeah. Well, some mids do better without gold and experience, etc. But sometimes the mid matchup just comes down to individual player skill instead of the actual hero itself. So, Viper and Queen of Pain, I reckon, is quite an even matchup. Uh, Viper will look, obviously get. Well, Queen of Pain will have the early start. And then uh, until Viper has that max Never Toxin, I feel like they will start evening out. And then the early game rotations begin. So, yeah, I'm liking. I'm liking Scary Faces more here, though. Yeah, good point. I think we're going to be getting a stand-in for Sax Sack Sa. Sack Sa. There we go. Okay. Let's go. We had to kick the hamster. Plug in the potato. Oh, yeah. And we're back in. Praise Earth. Cling. Yes, yes I will now switch back over. Queen of Pain. Grief. Gaga! <laughs> now, in terms of team fight capabilities, do you think Scary Faces can win? 
I, I mean, of course they can. <laughs> it's a stupid question, but yeah, how how hard do you think it's going to be for them to win in a mid-game, late-game team fight? I would liken, uh, not liken. I would liken more more Moriarty to win the team fight. They have Phoenix Ed, Egg. Rafe can get that Aghanim Scepter. That would be fun to watch. Earthshaker Echo and Rubik can also steal a lot of spells here, and also null a lot of the damage with that null field as well. I know that I keep banging on about the null field, but it's really strong. 20% magic resistance is really good for your whole team, as well as the corrosive skin on Viper as well. If Viper builds tanky and Rave King gets the damage as well, I'm liking Team Moriarty for the team fight, but I'm sure that with um, with scary faces, they ain't going to take a team fight without having a few pickoffs. So then, so, yeah, well, good analysis there. And shall we introduce the teams? You want to go first with Scary Faces, and I just noticed my neck wrap is on. <laughs> okay, and we're on Scary Faces. We have State. Wait a second. All right. I have to wait a second. All right, there we go. Right, keep going. All right, State 21 on the Queen of Pain. We have Gyrocopter being played by Shadow. We have Eknart playing the Tuscar. We have Quister. Rocking some sexy cosmetics on the clinks, and we have Ramses six 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 on the clackwork. All right, and on Team Moriarty's side, we have Saska playing the Rubik, uh, Solitude playing the Viper, Earthshaker will be played by M four Lem, just Lem from now on. Posing being played Phoenix, playing Phoenix, not being played by Phoenix, and Miracle playing the Wraith King, who is hiding in the woods. And it looks like uh, State SFC is actually going in a slightly deep here. Going to play some ward, probably looking for some kills, but will not find anything. Anticipation is good for Moriarty, hiding themselves away from SFC. And now they place two wards. They place one here for the rune, and they place one here for the lane control. Yeah. Now, if we just have a look, I'm going to say the Vision Rangers are pretty good. This is going to actually block off a lot, this ward here. Uh, I think that's in the box to block. Well, I mean, if, sure. you, if you have vision on the campsite, it's already good, isn't it? I, oh yeah, just that in general, but I, I, I don't think it blocks the camp. We'll have a look. Ooh, look what we've got going on here. No, Dual doesn't. lane mid, apparently, or not. Oh, good, good Fisher, but it does not hit the right side. Yeah. So State 21 will stay alive. In fact, he's taking some heavy harassment from the Viper. And this is Viper's main just main attribute. He can dish out some pretty heavy harassment damage. Yeah, and State 21 did Ooh, Ramses is in a bit of trouble, being already wraithed up. Eknar is looking to, to defend here, but Ramses, will he take a fall? No, he will not. That lucky block there. Now Saska looks like he's in a bit of trouble. Snowball used, but Saska will, will heal up. State 21 actually taking the uh, kill on Solitude. Dying though. Oh yeah, uh, Earthshaker coming back in there, Fisher in him. Shadow Bay will now try and ca get positioning, pausing. And Rubik kills Clockwork. Rubik will in fact kill Clockwork. It's a bloodbath early on, boys. Two to one already, and that's a pretty neat gold change right there. Clinks, however, does feel unfazed by this. He's already 6 0, free farming there. Oh yeah, he's got no problems at all. And so that's a lovely Mango on Ramses. Mango pick up on the clockwork. What do you think about that? Mm, let's have a look here. Uh, the Mango. Hmm? Oh, that's just a casual Mango. Like, if he needs the mana, it just pops out instantly. It's... I don't think... No, they have no mana burn. Uh, maybe it's just a value Mango. And maybe that 1 HP regen. I don't know. Hmm. It's always good. Already some stacking. Actually, no, that's a double pull. State 21 is once again low, facing up to that heavy harassment from Solitude. Who has purchased a Vaith Band just to be able to dish out some more damage. And now, oh, once again, a bit of a standoff on the mid lane. But in fact, yep, there's Earthshaker come in. Nice Fisher there, but State 21 will blink away. As it is with the Queen of Pain. Oh, uh, bot lane. We have, uh, Ooh, Saska. Right Saska. Does manage to ward off the attack. Tusk on his own cannot kill the Rubik. 
And uh, everyone, make sure that you subscribe to the channel on Twitch, follow Swiss DC on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. Again. Good stuff, good show. There's already boots up on Clockwork, who's now level 3. Level 3 compared to level 1 pausing. That's a, definitely an offlane one for SFC. Oh, yeah. He's getting a lot of experience here. It's going really well. He's got level 3 by 3. He's nearly getting that level 4 with a couple more creeps. Always a fishing mid, stay 21. Stay 21, taking once again the heavy damage. Just incredibly heavy from Solitude. He's level 4. Stay 21 is also level 4, but you know. It's more damage coming in from Solitude than he's able to deal to him. Oh, Krista, you bully. He's just bullying the Phoenix right out of this lane right now. Uh, both these heroes are very potent at just poking away enemy heroes. Oh, here we go. Eknot's coming in for a gank. Positioning is looking into a bit of a situation here. Shadow Away will pop the battery soul. Oh, what a fisher, but it looks like the rocket will still kill him. Yeah, the penis gets him. <laughs> You and your euphemisms. Anyway, it looks like Ramses might be in a bit of trouble here. Saskis lifting him back up onto the hill. Miracle's confused though. That was a bit of a misplay for him. In fact, Ramses will turn right the back around. Uh, no, he decides to 180 that. Yeah, he's just going to go pick up this bounty rune. He'll live with that. I mean, um, you've been harassing. You've harassed the support. I mean, it was barely a harass, but it was still a harass. Orquist is in trouble here, the Fisher. No, he'd be totally fine. He'd just shake it off. And it looks like actually Eknot will be coming top to try and grab him, grab himself some farm. Let's have a look. Who are his potential targets? Posing and Mem for Lem. And Shadowway looks like, yep, just forcing them out of the lane. Just that intense damage. And it's still a level 1 Phoenix after 4 minutes. This is not good. Yeah. Oh, and we have on the top lane the Rocket Barrage. Nah, he's just going to back up there. You don't want to go in there. I mean, it's with Eknark backing him up. Oh, there, Phoenix did see him, of course. What Radiant Wards are there, actually? We haven't talked about them. There's a ward there just to spot out the ganks coming in. So they did see that the, the, the Tusk was there. And there's this ward right here just to make sure the mid laner cannot blink top. And uh, looking on the mid CS right now, Viper is absolutely dominating State 21 right now. Solitude showing off that he's a good Viper player here, and he only has that one level in Never Toxin as well. I mean, on the side of SFC, yeah, but, I mean, the CS is just All horrible. Mid. All yeah, mid. Quite aggressive right now. State 21 will, might actually win this, to be honest. He's got level 6 before Viper does. But the problem is, he's very low health. I mean, you don't want to go in on that with a Never Toxin. Well, let's no, have a look at this. Shadow is actually there. Going to start ganking Pozzing, and Eknot is there to help, but Pozzing will Icarus dive away. The Rocket will follow him, though. Will this be a Rocket oh. kill? Oh, Viper just getting killed by Queen of Pain. Almost a kill on... Ooh. Phoenix, actually. Good ice shards there. <laughs> Missing all the kills again. It's horrible. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. And... We have Tusk uh, Roman mid, I think. He's going to go on. Oh, this could be a right pretty big trouble for Tusk, though, because he's going to get completely blocked off. Ah, oh, what a snowball, though. Ugh, yikes, but right into the Viper. Right back into the Viper. Right back into the Earthshaker, who did have his Enchant Totem ready. Yeah, you don't mess around with Viper. And now Stay 21 and Stolitude once again poking each other out of the mid lane. But, you know, Solitude wins this. And, in fact, Solitude might actually get a kill here. <laughs> If you choose to ult, you can ult him right now and just literally just get the kill straight up. Now let's snap. Nah, bottle is up. Now nah, you can't do that, but the Yuff Shake it will be there to assist in any ganks that will happen. No, in fact, there's actually going to be three heroes and they're going to smoke up Shadow V and Eggnard. So, what are they looking for? Probably the Yuff Shaker. Oh, there's the snowball. They had a ward up here and they're going to get the Viper. Incoming ganks from the Grid of Pain and it looks like Rocket Barrage will not finish him off. Oh, I've disconnected. It seems like we've all disconnected. Yeah. That was a weird little piece of connection issue there. Uh, apparently, since we both disconnected, this does not seem to be a uh, single out problem. Yeah. Quite confusing right now. I'm trying to reconnect right now, and I we can't. Yes, this does not look like to be in such a good situation. I will put on the break screen.
There might be, I don't know. <laughs> and we're back. Should just have you should have just seen that. Yeah, I'm back now. All right, we are all back. Apparently, there was. Interestingly, everyone's back at base. Okay. Weird amount of connection problems there. <laughs> Volvo, please. Volvo, please. Hey. All right then. Definitely confusing what just happened. Uh, yeah. Go. Apparently, all the did did anyone die? I'm not sure to be honest. Oh, Solitude did not. No, he did die. Weird. Completely weird situation we've got here. Everyone's at base, so I think it's a fair advantage. <laughs> People, are they going to purchase TPs? Yeah, probably. Right, That's actually uh, faceless Rex courier. I did not notice that. Oh, what a beautiful courier. And we also have a nice red horn for the Radiant team. Anyway, back to the game. Let's bring up the kill. Let's bring up the last hits and denies. In fact, let's bring up the net worth. And Quist is just, uh, well, leading. Not by much, but he's leading. Wraith King following it up in Solitude. You're getting there, getting there. Looks like all the ganks they wanted to protect. Like, that gank would have been beautiful. And in fact, they're actually going to repeat that. Are they? They are going to repeat it. They've got the smokes up. Will they ice shard and will they snowball? But it looks like Moriarty's expecting it. They'll ward up. Will they find anyone? No, in fact, they're going top to grab the... Will they grab the Phoenix? And it looks like they will. And this is a combo. Do they know? There's been a ping out from... Who's pinged that out? It was either Earthshaker or the... Uh... Clockwork. In fact, Clockwork has, in fact, fired a rocket flare, so I believe Clockwork did ping that out. Yeah, it's a level 3 rocket, so it definitely contributes to some of the kills. Oh, there you go. Ganks are coming in. The snowball is rolling, and it will still hit pausing, but it will not stun. Ice shards are just off the mark, and now and Fallen is there. Reactions are coming up from Viper. Ektar looks like he's in a bit of trouble. He will be stunned, and he will die. Meanwhile, Phoenix actually solo killing off the gyrocopter. Quister decides to retreat. Quister decides to retreat. Yeah, Krista got the hell out of there then. Ooh, but then Fallen, will he find him? Skeleton walk is up, so that is should not be an issue. Meanwhile, the top tower will not fall yet, but it's taking a lot of chip damage there. Now, Krista is actually looking for a kill here. Will he, he get Solitude? He's starting to man mode up Solitude, but look, it's not doing enough damage. Ramses is there with the hook, though. Oh, but the Fisher just blocking off the cogs. No! The rocket not hitting the mark here and it looks like oh Quista final shot yeah Solitude will end up dead skeleton oh, walk really sad isn't it when you oh see that one and Fallen and Fallen is so dead or not he's actually hiding in the trees and now state 21 oh we use Sonic Wave to secure the kill and now though he's out of mana he's out of health and he will be ice sharded accidentally although Wraith Code probably would have killed him anyway Yeah, we see uh, Miracle right now. He's chasing down the Tuscar. He's got the reincarnation up now. And uh, they're just going to agree with each other. And Miracle's just going to sit in the mid now and pick up some farm and last hits. Now, let's look at the items. We've got the Viper going for the mech, which is a good pickup, of course. Uh, we've got the, the Drums of Endurance being built on Miracle. So he's going a bit more early fighting here. And last but not least, we have the Klinks going a Soul Ring, which is... Gonna probably Tip build him. Typical. I mean, it's typical, but what does it build into? Is the question. Uh, that's just a casual soul ring. He uses that to um, ingest a creep in the jungle. So that won't be any more than a soul ring. I don't think Bloodstone on Clinks is gonna be <laughs> new meta. No, I don't think so. It's a bit of an expensive item, though, to be honest. It uh, feels it's like gold. it feels like 800 gold away from your next item. It could be. It could be good, of course, but it He's really feels a bit expensive. Hammer right now. I think this is going to be a desolator on Quista. Well, that early desolator can just contribute to the snowball, especially if it comes before the 20-minute mark, which it very well might. And Rubik just stole ice shards. In fact, uh, I just missed that. Ramsey's going to try to go to help, but did not. Uh oh, 
here we go now. Stage oh, 21. Stage 21 looks like in a bit of trouble and Fallen will stun him up. Will he be able to blink? Blinks are down on cooldown. Oh, what is this? No, too much damage on the Faceless Rex. Oh, oh, Rocket will hit. Ramses will in fact actually hit Viper as well. But will that contribute to anything? In fact, Enfallen is not going to end up dead. Oh, oh, actually will. Never mind that. Oh, nice eye shots there, but it looks like it's time in the trouble. Wraith King is coming in and looks like Solitude will get a kill on Ramses. Shadow Bear now trying to do as much damage as he can, but he will fall. And now it looks like the re... The re... In <sighs> Reinitiation just feeding the Phoenix up a bit there. That's going to bring him ever so much closer to his hand of Midas. That's four that's kills down. Four kills for Morali Mor Moriarty. And that's a 1,100 gold swing for the side of Mor Moriarty. They're, I think they really needed that as well. Uh, they're definitely... Um, I wouldn't say they're clawing this back. I reckon they are definitely further by making their lead more dominant. It's definitely good. And yeah, just looking at the top lane right now, Quister is casually just farming up right now, and I'm 100% sure that this is a Desolator coming out on him. Oh yeah, it feels like it. I mean, he's about to get that one foul. Just 100 gold more, and he's got that second Mithril Hammer. He just needs a recipe after that. And he's got that lovely, oh, lovely Desolator. Oh, the mid lane. Viper Strike's been committed as... Now he will not tick. That That's just the blink on the Queen of Pain. He'll get away from all damage for the first few minutes, for the first 20 minutes of the game. And then it will start to get harder. <laughs> That's said it lightly. That's saying it lightly. The Queen of Pain has a belt of strength in her infantry. Oh, it looks like they might want to go in on Ramsey's. Uh, belt of strength. That doesn't build into much. Might be just be casual. I don't think he's going to be building a Sand or anything. Maybe a Necro? A Necro book this early on the Queen of Pain. Especially on the Queen of Pain is something very weird. Very weird indeed. Now, on this bot lane, you cannot, as Ramsey's, go forward. You'll end up very dead very quickly. Yeah, uh, the two supports are just uh, staying back right now. They're making sure that uh, Miracle gets some safe farm. In fact, in fact, Miracle wants to go deep on this. He's going to dive the tier one tower. Ray Fire Blast is out. Where's the Fisher? There's the lift. Fisher is just a bit off mark, and Ice Shards, however, will do the damage. And Wraith King will get the kill. That Fisher could have come in a bit later, they could have stacked that a bit better, but you know what, they got the kill, so all is good. And our Solitude man fighting against ND1, the Snowball is there, but the Walrus Punch is there, and here comes the cooldown, here comes the Sonic Wave. That's a lot of ults committed for one Viper though. Yeah, that's three ult that's committed there for the Viper, but Viper is leading, wow, well, I thought he was leading the network. Oh, there. Rubik. Saska is looking very much in trouble here, and Eknot missing the ice shards, but he has snowballs, so if they see him, he's very dead. But the reactions are coming in. TV reactions coming in. Phoenix will be there, and he has been playing on his on point this game. Viper there. Queen of Pain will be trying to get the kill, and here comes Eknot to Walrus punch him off. Eknot will now be TPing out. There's no stun in from the Phoenix, so that should be an easy TP for Tusk. And meanwhile, bottom tower has been taken by Radiant. Yes, indeed, and that ward from uh, the dire side, just by uh, the Radiant Ancients, that was a... Uh... Oh, nice hook by Ramses, but the cog's just off the mark. Yeah, that ward's very uh, valuable for the dire side right now. Uh, the dire side has just lost their ward, actually. It was yeah, right there. Yeah, unfortunate, though. Right there, but um, did do a lot of work. And Aquista seems to be diving deep, looking for and Fallen with that Desolate he just picked up. Oh my god. Completely busted. Uh, this is the Clink Snowball, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it doesn't stop for no one. And here Ooh. we go, Miracle. No, he's not gonna. There's too much health on Miracle. There's a Walrus Pump which just used. He doesn't have strafes up either. Now, quick question. Do you think a medallion will be built on the Eknot? He's actually built up the urn. Do you think he'll go for the medallion? Um, I think with a Desolator, I don't think he would need to get one now. I think Quister could probably just get some life steal and just solo version straight up. So what do you think Eknot will get? Um, uh, I reckon he'll look for something like a Blink Dagger or a Force Staff. Yeah, get that mobility going. It looks like oh. this mid mid engagement, we're going to see a failed rocket there. Too looking many the people. Bot Tower. <laughs> Tower will fall very quickly. But right now, I feel like the next engagement will be mid. Just just the this, this, these heroes. Four heroes. And there's the call down. Shadow Bay will be stunned up. And Miracle will come in with the 
Second stun stacking it up. In fact, Miracle will get the kill thanks to the DOT. And now, will they take the tower? So that's one kill and one tower. I think they could live themselves with that. It's a four-man rotation. However, they're getting a lot of value out of this. It's 343 gold change. Ice shards were used. Stuns up, but nothing more. Miracle's looking low. He does have reincarnation. He actually has a blade mail up as well, so he can counteract this damage. Here we go. Eggnut will be stunned up. Wrong side of the fissure, though, so no kill potential there. The mech is now up on solitude, which means... They have survivability, and it looks like it's just going to be the good old mid standoff we see from pubs. Tower will fall, Viper will get the kill, and now Mirror, what a short range stun from 20, well, State 21. Do you think that Miracle will go back for an armlet? On the Wraith King? Mm, I feel like he already has enough items, to be honest. I don't think he needs an armlet. Yeah, I find armlet very valuable, though, especially on Wraith King and other strength carries like that. Yeah, but. Currently, isn't it a tiny bit late for an armlet already? I mean, you, you've got to build it up. You, remember, you have to build it up. You have to expend the gold for it. It's like, why not just get something else that does a bit more damage? Let's put it that way. And it looks like they will take top pretty easily. Oh... No, no, Earthshaker, no! And this looks like a very dead Earthshaker. <laughs> Quista getting the kill once again. And the nice hooks from Ramses. Uh, TP reaction is coming in from the Rainian side. They don't want to lose a tower, but defending this top tower will probably lose them the bot tower. But meanwhile, who just got lifted? That's stage 21 going down. The amount of stun lock is real, and here comes the call down. In fact, you were right. That was a necro book on the Queen of Pain. Just tell me, how does this necro book make sense? Um, I think you're muted yourself, mate. Yeah, anyway, my, my, my co-caster seems to be having some technical difficulties. So, a necro book on the Queen of Pain is a very weird pickup, but to be honest, there aren't any natural necro book carriers on the on FC side. And Queen of Pain can split push. Not very well, but she can split push. So, of course, it could always be used for the great push, but the thing is, it's like, Clinks already has a huge amount of armor reduction. And he's about yeah, to get his BKB. I just lagged out. Alright, I'm back. Alright, then. So, once again, asking yourself, why do you think Queen of Pain needs a Necro book? Um, I think that um, Queen of Pain has decided that I don't think they, they can take on um, like head-on engagements, so she's probably looking around, probably take a few towers, and uh, I don't think that the true site's going to do much. I don't think that Wraith King or uh, Viper's going to be looking for a Shadow Blade. And also, the Necronomicon aura is really good as well. Uh, maybe it's just. I don't know, really. Uh, Necronomicon is sort of like your pub build on your Queen of Pain, but I prefer Aghanim Scepter personally. Of course, I mean, the Aghanims just give you so much value. Being able to do damage for BKB is just one perk. Yeah, that's a massive perk, as they have a lot of magic resistance as well. And, you know, it, it cuts through the Viper's corrosive skin, and not only that, it will completely wreck the support, putting it lightly. There's a really early gem picked up on the Phoenix right now. They just don't want those wards anymore. Quista, oh dear. As well as Quista, of course, they want to capture Quista right now. Quista will just start to TP out, and he's got his BKB, so they don't have to care. He doesn't yeah, have to care. Right um, yeah, Saska having going just a typical support build right now, and he had, did steal strafe, which isn't so good on the Rubik. Good of pain actually getting a pick off that on the off shaker. Wow, and the, these Necronomicons just doing their work now. It's like five percent uh, move speed, five attack speed for each creep. It's not Radiance massive, but it definitely does some work. Now, if we have a look... Oh, look at this engagement. Bot lane, Wraith King actually has a blink dagger now. Shadow Bay looks like he's on the wrong end of the field here. He's going to end up dead, very much dead. Not before getting a stun on the Wraith King, which doesn't do too much. And now, all five? I don't know, actually only four of Team Moriarty are down there. Now it's free. All, everyone TPing top to try and make sure that State 21 cannot split push through here. And he will TP out. 
In fact, Miracle's just going to start blinking after him. Going up against Ramses, who does have a Blade Mail. So Ramses does, is unable to pop the Blade Mail beforehand. Will he pop the Blade Mail? This is the quick question. Oh, that's not good. Rayfire. Oh, oh, there's the Fisher. Rayfire plastered and securing and the kill. Crit in the face. Very much face crit there. Yeah. Uh, he sort of cogged himself in through his own doom. I think he should have tried to run away a little bit more, but that blink dagger showing its worth right there. Oh, look at me here. We've got a smoke up there. Looks like a small engagement. Phoenix will take a lot of damage, but the smokes are still out from Moriarty. Looking like they want to try and capture someone. Most likely the Queen of Pain, and they will find the Queen of Pain. There's the stacking stun. Saxco will lift. Will they get the kill? Oh, Queen of Pain. Just TPing out. Will the dog right, kill her? Oh, there you go. Yeah, well played by Phoenix there. Oh, Quista will probably be the next one to fall. But Quista, they have the gem, so they will see him. And there you go. The crit to the face. And let's just check net worth quickly. Quista's still I'm on top. And Wraith King is catching up. And they're just going straight to Rosh. And you, can they take this? And they do. I mean, they have Vampiric Aura, right? That's oh, that's yeah. enough right there. I won't, it's not going to be the fastest version I've ever seen in my life, but... Oh, especially with that Sigil being a pain in the neck. Oh, they've taken it out right now. Oh, Ice Shards will capture everyone in there. But just... Well, they, do they have cooldown available? They do have cooldown available, and it looks like it's going to hit once, twice, but they don't care. They have the mech, remember? Rubik does steal Rocket Barrage. Uh, no, in fact, he steals Battery Assault, but, um... But, here we go. The rush will fall slowly, and it looks like this was a very prolonged fight. Where's the pit fight? And there we go! Ramses will jump in, suiciding. Viper will... Uh, he will not be able to get the last hit. Viper will get the Aegis. Shards are out, but Eknot will, once again, suicide. Egg was popped during that fight. Queen of Pain's trying to blink away, and that's already two down for SFC with no losses for Moriarty. Even though SFC have the better pit fight. In fact, it looks like state 21 is going to be end is going to end up dead here, or not? Will he tick? No, they will probably find him before. And the fish misses. Oh my god, they are so close to him. <laughs> state 21 will blink his way back. Yeah. Or not? That was actually rocket placed on. What is the courier doing? Queen of Pain. What? Actually getting Rubik. Oh, their fish are finally finishing off Queen of Pain. And there's the TP's coming out. Shadowway trying to get a kill here. But will be unable to. Yeah, I'm loving this game so far. It's been an absolute bloodbath. Now let's have a like, look. 23 to 14. Uh, decided Moriarty. More. I can never say it. Moriarty. Moriarty. There we go, boo. Just and remember, just remember Sherlock, mate. Just remember Sherlock. Oh, Sherlock. And there's a 3k goal lead for Moriarty right now. And maybe not a tower lead, but it's looking good. I mean, right, 3k isn't really much. You have to remember, 3k isn't too much. Oh, it's definitely overcomable. But the thing is, is that who snowballs more with more money is the thing, all right? And let's let's just um, I feel it. In fact, let's just look at XP. It's I think it's a better uh, graphic here. Seven thousand five hundred Moriarty. That really is a lead. Yeah, that's definitely a lead there. Uh, but I think that we should remember that uh, Quister is uh, leading the net worth right now. It's and slight uh, though. It's slight though. You have to remember. And in fact, Wraith King has three thousand twenty gold stored up. What do you think he's going to get? Uh. Maybe that oh dear, Eknot. Eknot and Quista, they want to get Solitude. Solitude will end up dead, and Eknot, will he tick? Eknot will not tick out. Miracle, in fact, trying to go right for it. There comes, there comes the respawn from Solitude. Yeah, as, as I was just saying. Chris Sliver of health, 20 yeah. HP. <laughs> yeah, Tusk was uh, really lucky to survive that fight. Then maybe a touch from the creep, and he was... Probably, you know, having that first class ticket to the world. And now, alright, let's go back to Miracle. What do you think he's buying with that 3,000 gold? A heart is, or an AC, I think. And the AC, yeah, they don't have an AC yet, so an AC does make sense. I was almost about to say the AC was being built for Phoenix, but then I remembered. He built a Shiva's Guard, who he is actually finished right now. A lot of money coming out, from, coming out for Phoenix, actually. 
Ooh, yeah. hook up onto Miracle, but Miracle has Reincarnation, so they can't expend too many ults on this fight, otherwise they're going to have a lot yeah. of problems. Reincarnation has just been spent on Ramses. Stay 21 blinking out, Ramses looks like he's in a bit of trouble here. Ah, oh, there comes the stun stack, and look at that. I think I have an idea what those Necros are for now, that mana burn on the Race King. I mean, it's good, but the problem is... Just then, he only had about 4 or 5 mana over. He only had 165 mana just to reincarnate then. Big Ooh, echo the Echo Slam there, but oh! What a dodge! The Snowball getting it, but here comes the entire re-initiation re <laughs> from Team Moriarty. And it looks like State 21 will end up dead here. Good stun stacking, but Sonic Wave not hitting anything. Or oh, actually, the Sonic Wave stolen by Sasuke and hitting the Queen of Pain. And they're just gonna parade down the mid lane, probably take a tier two, maybe even go high ground on that tier three. But Quista back his, door in right now. You know, here's what I was talking about: the greed on the side of FFC is just working against them. Yeah, they're way too greedy. They, they they just picked up way too greedy heroes, and now it looks like they're reaping the reaping the consequences. Oh, Quista, very unlucky then to get the kill on the Earthshaker. You know, Shaker, <laughs> 120 health. Yeah, He's gonna counting his lucky stars right then. So that, and then we're just looking at the net worth quickly from the top three heroes. We've got Pwista, but he's only a thousand ahead of Miracle, who now has a Radiance. Actually. <laughs> oh my God! None of us called that one. Yeah, Phoenix is um, really counterwarding quite hard right now with that gem. Just making sure that uh, the Dire team have no vision whatsoever, and look, they've got a, they've got two sentry wards here, but apart from that, the Dire have no vision whatsoever. Yeah, it's 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 basically pub style gameplay right now. They don't see anything, and they just put up a sentry ward. That sentry ward's going to get dewarded very quickly. Yeah, Phoenix is uh oh, and in the jungle, Shadows are uh, picking up a bit of. Farm right now, maybe going back for a drums of endurance. I believe he's picked up that bracer. I'm not sure if it's just a casual one, but the drums are very late though. Oh, it looks like they want to get miracle again, but Eknard, well, Eknard died. <laughs> the Shiva's guard just off, just off, and it looks like he will actually tick out. Phoenix getting the kill, them fallen blinking and are trying to get the Fisher. I think that's state 21 and. Um... Krista has realised that it's safer in the, other, in the enemy's jungle than their own. <laughs> but M Fallen will in fact uh, just miss the Queen of Pain. That Now here's the thing. SFC can no longer pull this late. That is pretty obvious. Oh, uh, Rubik. Oh, okay. no, Rubik. That action might actually get a kill there. The Echo Slam stunning up to 821. But State 21 will fall alongside the Rubik. And Ramses, will he end up dead? No, the damage just isn't enough. And for them standing there as if he just didn't care. <laughs> yeah, he had the blink was on cooldown, the fissure was on cooldown, so he couldn't really do much. So he was just having a little bit of a sunbathe in the Phoenix laser. And yeah, I mean it's already a Shiva's up on the Phoenix, and I just want to see what that is. I just want to see what's going on here. Oh, ooh, what's going on up here, actually? It looks like Shadow Bay is going, uh, going to die to Miracle. Shadow Bay is actually invisible. Oh, the Fisher just getting him. It looks like Shadow Bay will end up dead. Miracle on a godlike stream. 9 0 has not been touched this match. Yeah, that reincarnation's uh, really. Really. Oh, and Fallen will probably end up dead, though, for just trying. Being a bit. Way too overconfident. A bit too overconfident here. Cocky is the word you're looking for. Yeah. Ah, oh, but just, I mean, Klinks has, does, he's got a Daedalus. It's oh. the huge damage, but it's versus a Wraith Kick who can just basically say, I'm going to reincarnate now. And I've got the blind chance as well. I've got 17% miss chance on you of the oh. Radiance. Basically, that puts my EHP up to huge levels, huge levels. Mm. And now Ignat... What do you think he's going to get? He's got it on the career, he's getting wards, but you think he's going to get anything before this game ends? No, I don't think so, no. Uh, this is like your position 5 tusk, like nothing's... He isn't going to be getting anything anytime soon. I think Quista and State 21 are the 
the only hopes right now for um, SFC. And even then, State 21 is just so far away from anything right now. He's so far away from a BKB. He's so far away from a from an Agnims. Oh, I totally agree right there. I mean, he has... He only needs 2,000 more gold, but the question is, will he be able to get that before the next fight appears and where he's probably going to end up dead, considering the current trends. And now well, let's just have a look towards the mid lane. I think uh, Moriarty are just going to walk up high ground. Maybe. I mean, can they? Can they though? They don't. Don't they? Oh, don't they have can. Aegis. They don't have Aegis. They got reincarnation. They need to have vision up there, which they currently don't have. And in fact, it looks like they wanted to just you know get a pick off first on Ramses, either Ramses or Quista, but Ramses will force stuff out. Where's the Phoenix? Oh, the hook out. Oh. The hook out. Saving his life. Phoenix was not there to to jam up Quista. Yeah, looking round now. Uh, and now they will take Rush. Oh, and now they have the damage to take Rush quickly. Not as quickly as they as Team uh, SFC would, but quickly. Yeah, the big man's up now. I reckon the Aegis of the Immortal would probably be. Yeah, there's no contest. Fighter. There's no contest coming out from SFC, and they can't contest this. They knew what happened last time. They've realised let's push out all the lanes that stalled them just that bit longer. Yeah, there, that tower will fall, but that's for another time as this Rosh goes down. Oh, there's a lot of TPs, and Shinobi looks like to be a bit. bit. <laughs> a bit of a bit of a trouble here. And Shinobi will glimmer cape up, but that's not gonna help. And he will end up dead. The egg actually being popped there. I thought that was a GG call then, but yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Good thing you can cancel that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it looks like Ramses and Fallen wanting to get Ramses there. But Ramses will force stuff out. Bit of analysis is needed here. Um so they've taken Rosh. Now yeah, now I believe they can move high ground. And with impunity. And they're about to get a BKB up on Miracle as well. Oh. I mean, even if you do try and take a fight, even if SFC do take a fight, they're fighting against I mean, it's not too bad on net worth. Look, it doesn't look too bad on net worth. It's only 7,500. Viper but... just got his own BKB. Yeah, and this is a problem. This is a big problem. In fact, Klinks is going for a lot more armor reduction. He's, he knows that the physical damage is needed. Because those BKBs are going to make sure that, that the arrows won't... Well, actually, he's still hit, but... Um, that suddenly his... That all the supports will be meaningless. And State 21 playing a dangerous game here. In fact, that dangerous game that he did play was enough to get him his BK, uh, his Agonims actually. Ooh, went for them. And it looks like, yep, there you go. Moriarty will start pushing in through the middle, right up the gullet. The There's solar, enough... solar crest on Clinks. Maybe that's blind. just too much armor reduction right there. And here comes the cooldown. But they don't care because that's only a cooldown level two, I believe. Yeah, it's only cooldown level 2, so it doesn't do too much damage. In fact, even if it were a level 3, it wouldn't do too much damage. Salsa will steal the cooldown, in fact, and that's going to hurt. Miracle will eat a rocket, but he has his BKB, so he knows he can just do that if he wants to. There's a Ghost Scepter actually up. Oh, Quist on the back line. It looks like they want to initiate on this. And Saska will fall. The Egg is up. State 21 taking a lot of damage. Will the Egg fall is the question. And the egg will not fall, and this will secure another kill for Moriarty. In fact, they might even secure oh, a third. Krista, no. It will secure a third. Where is the gyro? The gyro is not there. In fact, he's healing up the fountain. Queen of Pain will buy back, but that's only three, three and a half, in fact, versus the three most farmed up heroes of this game. Yeah, well, current, three. This current moment in time, they can't really take any more than one Rax at the moment. They still got tier two standing on the top of the bot lane, so the damage hasn't been. Like, oh, uh, Shadow is probably going to end up very dead here if he doesn't oh. do anything. But the Glimmer Cape is down, the Force Stuff as well. Miracle will pop Reincarnation, which is not too good, which means now he is killable. And now they just retreat. And this is good. They reset the fight and just wait for the next opportunity. Which will happen in... Well, it looks like it's going to be about... 3 plus 2, it's 5 minutes. Yeah, the uh, Aegis is going to be... Uh... Expired in two minutes, so they really need to keep pushing, they need to keep up this constant tempo. They are really controlling the game now, Moriarty. Oh yeah, the map control. Favorites. The map control is just 
immense. I mean, really, even they're being they're being pushed out of their own forest right now. Uh, Scary. SFCR. Scary faces were definitely the favourites for this one. I mean, State Twenty One is having to resolve. Oh, the Echo Slam is popped. Rafe King getting a solo kill on the Gyro, but that's it's the Queen of Pain is losing against a solo Earthshaker. In fact, the Hex is up on the Phoenix. Then fallen. Will he end up dead? He's still alive throughout this whole and ordeal. And Eknart, will he fall? He will get Ray fired up, and Eknart will die. Oh my! Ray King just one big swirly vortex of spikes and goldness. Miracle doesn't give a crap. You know, Quist is re if you, if you have to resort to going to the enemy jungle to you know farm safely, and if you know going there and still feeling like I'm going to get killed on any second, it's a very hard situation. Oh, indeed it is, yeah. And now look at them fall them, it's like they know someone's in their jungle. And it's really the only thing Quister can do right now. Even his own jungle has been warded up. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, that that's a hex on the Phoenix. He's been earning so much cash right now. It's not, it's, he's, in fact, he's equal to net worth. Now just, just lost it to Viper. Yeah, he's money, money, money for Phoenix. And let's have a look. What item? It's 3,800 gold on Solitude, so he's looking for his next big item. And what do you think his next big item could be? On the Wraith King? No, the Viper. The, the, the Viper. Oh, the, Viper. Uh, the Viper's probably looking towards a Butterfly right now, because I don't think Quist is going to be getting an MKB anytime soon. I'm just ha I mean, the item comparison is horrid. It's SFC had got nothing in comparison. There's a missed hook chance from Ramsey's. Um, yeah, I mean, Moriarty supports, I mean, just, just, it's a good, it's a good metric to go by. If the enemy supports are more farmed than your own supports, then you know something's wrong. Yeah, even Earth Shaker's got more. Oh, Miracle, just, just man-moding up, Wraith King style. He's got regenerate, he's got reincarnation, so he doesn't have to care. Oh, I want to see Refresher all up on Miracle now. Death is my bitch. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. This match will probably end before he's going to have the full item set. State 21 is going to hit, be hit by that Axe upgraded Viper ult. Where's the Echo Slam? The Echo Slam is actually in the back lines. Quista will be the first one to fall. The Egg is popped and there goes Queen of Pain. Where's the rest of Team Mori SFC? They're in fact GGing GG. out of this. And that that is it. SFC is already out of the tournament. The obvious, the obvious favourites for this matchup. Moriarty, an unknown team, making some big waves on their first match already. Yeah, that was such a good game to watch there. And there you go. And that was the first match for round one. Now, we will be back for the second match of round two. Uh, round one. At least our match, which you can see on the Gigabyte Challenge number 16 page of Join Dota. The match we will be casting will be Goomba versus You Only Laugh Once. Now, once again, Goomba looking to be the obvious favourites. But to be honest, that's not about... That match isn't now. This match is now. <laughs> and this match, well, what can you say? Well, it was uh, non-consensual towards the end. And it really was. I mean, Moriarty looked weak towards the beginning, but they brought it back and they abused the greediness of SFC there. Anyway... Yeah. We will see you then for the second get map for our second match of round one. Until then, later. Au revoir.